my God, it's a bad one, dude, to pick the worst day. I woke up at 12.45 today, but I was in LA until three in the morning getting a tattoo, so I have a reason to wake up that late, I guess, kind of. <laughs> Normally, I wake up like 10.30. Everyone wears black pants, why not throw on some red pants? Or if someone made purple pants, maybe I'd rock them. I could not do pink. Purple's the farthest I'll go in the crazy color world. I'm working on it right now. I need to stop wasting my money on cars and actually do something that's <laughs> an investment and something that's good for my life, so I'm trying to buy a house. I spent about like 20 grand on my birthday party, but that's like pretty like reasonable. It was my 18th birthday party. I rented out some house in Palm Springs that costed it way too much money. I would say the worst thing would probably be jewelry. What's the 10% rule? I don't know, I think to a certain extent, you know, with contests being like 100 to 200 grand nowadays, I mean, if you win 200 grand, I'm, just, I'm not trying to spend 20 grand on the homies. I mean, I love the homies, but 20 grand's 20 grand, bottom line. Asphalt Yacht Club is a new clothing company. The team is myself, Stevie Williams, Stefan Janowski, Figgy, Riley Hawk, Derek Wilson, Blake Carpenter, and Ben Norberg. Stevie Williams approached me about it a couple months ago, and I'm honored to be a part of it. I haven't ever had a real job, and I hope I never have to, because that would be uh, pretty different and pretty gnarly. No, actually, out of all my friends, Chase is probably the worst of that. He doesn't clean up anything. He lives in my house, he doesn't do anything. So Gary, I'm backing you 100%, but he's worse than you think. I was kidding. <laughs> Half my comments on my Instagram is like, let someone else win this and that. I'm like, if you had a chance to go out there and win this contest and get 100 grand and like be psyched, I'm pretty sure you'd be trying to win too. Like, I don't expect to win every one whatsoever. I don't expect to win it even as much as I do at all. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go out there and let other people win on purpose, you know? Uh, Jake Phelps is a man. He's uh, it's a little hard to understand, a little hard to get sometimes. He can, uh, he, can, he can get you into a bad situation really easily, that's for sure. Somehow he got me to say that about girl skaters. But uh, he's sick, dude, he's a man. Uh, I love that dude, he's awesome. Favorite girl skater? I would have to go with, uh, Lacey Baker, because her hard flips kill it. Probably more than a video part, yeah. You got so much footage. Around that time where I did the kick for back lip down Wilshire for that skateboard mat cover, I would say everywhere from when I was 11 or 12 to about 15, all the footage I got in between there. And I, I was always street skating and he was my filmer. So he had all the all the footage, and uh, when um, our relationship kind of fell apart or whatever, I guess he uh, wasn't too psyched on giving me the footage or anything, so he's kept it. Uh, I have no idea where it is now, but who knows? Uh, one day, yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't trip on it now because like I've obviously grown up so much since then. I'm not gonna put out a video part from when I had dreads like six years ago. I haven't seen them in so long. I'm pretty sure that at my mom's house. They're definitely not for sale. But if someone did happen to offer me a solid, uh, let's say, 30 grand, I would, <laughs> I would sell them to you. <laughs> no, no one's ever tried to do that. Actually, no, yeah, Bastion. Bastion, dude, he tried to shut me and Paul down. First, I'm standing up on the deck. It's just during practice. Bastion comes up. I think it was a New Jersey contest last year, the championship one. And he literally comes up to me. He's like, he looks at me. He's like, hey, I'm tired of this shit. You better watch out. I'm coming for you. And then <laughs> I'm just like, all right, dog. Like, yeah, get it, dude. Yeah, like I, I like I like that competitive nature. Like, uh, hell yeah, I back that. And, uh, and then I'm like standing off to the side a couple minutes later and Paul's exactly where I was before. And he says the same exact thing to Paul. It's like, what? <laughs> this dude's gnarly. I think it's sick though, dude. I think I love that about Bastion. I always want him to win, dude. Bastion's that one dude I always want to win. If he won, dude, there would be like a solid like two hours of like him just cruising around the course. Like until everyone already left probably, he'd still be just cruising around, just psyching himself out, yeah. Yeah, I'm sitting on a good amount of footage. Definitely gonna be putting out a part at the end of the year. I think it's gonna be uh, something involved with DC, maybe, maybe a little something with Thrasher. Um, we'll see. I hate to say it, but Antoine is like a cop magnet, you know? Like, they just want to take him to jail. <laughs> 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 <laughs>